Hi everybody and welcome to the class project or in the case of this course the class projects. Um, the aim of the projects is to give you new drawing skills so please check the resources for the following handouts. They will provide comprehensive guidance on what to submit to the project gallery where you can share your drawings with the Skillshare community and I can give you feedback. I've tried to ensure that all the projects have an ease of initiation and that they promote independent and creative thinking. So try to make the projects your own and don't feel you need to make an exact copy of what I'm doing. Simply follow the approach step by step from the handouts and change the media to something that you have at hand. Um, really embrace the projects. I find that students that do all the exercises are the ones that make the best progress. Uh, it can be a little daunting at first to share your work particularly with drawing. Um, so try not to worry about this. Um, the more drawings and pictures and things that you will submit to the project gallery, the more comfortable you will come over time with sharing your work. Um, I, I used to do pavement drawing and up until I did pavement drawing, I was always so shy about sharing my drawings. And it was that thing of people looking over me and eventually got me out of that, that feeling. So let's go through the class projects one by one so you know what to photograph and upload to the project gallery. So we're going to call these deliverables and on each of the sheets you're going to find these little boxes uh, and I've called it an activity box which has a little box that you can tick uh, to ensure you've completed all the tasks. Um, but don't worry, you don't have to print them out if you don't want to. Um, it's better for the environment just to, to read it on the screen. Um, so first up, the first project is going to be lines, arcs and ellipses. Um, please don't waste expensive sketchbook paper on this one. Um, it can be just cheap photocopy paper, recycled paper, newsprint. In fact, actually, the cheaper the paper, the less inhibited you're going to be with doing these sort of exercises with your own physical geometries, as it were. Next up, we're going to have a, a blind contour drawing. So really try to embrace this process and do it without looking at the paper. There's also going to be a, a landscape doodle where I'm going to encourage you to create the illusion of depth and space on a piece of paper, not with linear perspective, but just overlapping lines. So that's kind of an interesting activity. Uh, next up, we have descriptive line drawing of a seashell. Um, so you might not have a dip pen and ink for this one, but by all means carry it out, it out in a pencil or a fine liner. Um, it doesn't have to be a conch seashell, you might have to find another seashell or any shell that you can want to work from. And then finally, the one I'm seeing as what I call the final major project for this course is uh, an insect study sheet. So study sheets are a way of recording and finding out about your subject. And they're one of the best ways of improving hand and eye coordination. A study sheet can include really quick gestural drawings and then move on to more sort of detailed work. It could be about anything. You can do a study sheet about a rock, a plant, an animal. It's a general inquiry into the personality of your subject. It can include written notes, color swatches, investigations into parts of the anatomy, such as a detailed close-up of a leg, or what the head of a grasshopper looks front on. Um, I usually do them over a double page spread of a sketchbook, so I'm encouraging you to use an A3 sketchbook for the entirety of these courses. And um, yeah, so you've got the A2, so you're not worried about squeezing things in, you've just got enough space. So I'm gonna let you do what you want. Have a go and just enjoy it. I've used colouring pencil here. Um, I've got this one by Peter Han, who's a pretty amazing drawer. You can find him on the internet. And he's used watercolour on there on a grasshopper. So, yeah, I'd really look forward to seeing what you do. Just be creative. Do little notes, bits of anatomy, uh, how you section it off, anything you like. And post it in the project gallery, where I'll be there to give you some feedback. 